Hello everybody, welcome back. We are back with the Pokemon Emerald cash lock. Um, I am where we left off last time. So far there weren't any like suggestions to buy any Pokemon so I will... Um, I haven't bought any yet since I am like quite content with the team we have so far and we got a lot of like duplicate uh, ooh, wait. Never mind. I keep forgetting. This is actually the second Master Ball we found, but in a lock type where it just doesn't matter. So that's, um, yeah, that's something. But as I was saying, um, we haven't really got any like cool new typing. Like we got, I think, Steel and dragon were ones we haven't had before so i could possibly um buy some cool things for that but then i have to like or buy or forfeit some of the earlier encounters so honestly i was kind of waiting for people <laughs> to faint uh before getting new ones or some of you have like some good uh, suggestions so yeah if you are still uh, enjoying the series and you want me to, to buy a certain Pokemon, then uh, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And let's continue. Let's get ourselves some TMs. 28. Um, and that one. And Roar. 5. Muddy Water. Ooh, that's pretty good. Somebody water and twister. We learn blue beast Eddie. Cool. Not bad. Alright, so let's continue and save ourselves a scientist. Tabra. Oh wait, there's a new encounter. Almost forgot. Um, okay, so psychic type. I don't remember what. What route is this again? Up. Route 114. Alright, so 114 is a psychic type. Good to know. Oh, got a rock smashing counter. Gaddick. Or Togetic. I never like really know. That's the thing. I never know what's the correct way to pronounce a lot of these are. Uh Aren't okay. I'm not good at remembering the the hidden item spots. Let's go Daisy. See how much Rachel leave does. Because I guess it's neutral, but still Yeah, does decent damage. We are coming up uh, to fight Roxanne, so I'm not quite sure. Let's see. She will have I believe 29 is her ace. So we can go up to that, but yeah, it's randomized, of course, so she won't have the Torco. She might have something better, but like, I remember a Torco being quite difficult um, because of oh, I'm okay. I've been doing like some recordings for uh, the no item, uh, what you call it, uh, no item in battle, hardcore Nuzlux, but yeah, I can just heal up or s stuff, stuff. Uh, but as I was saying, yeah, uh, back in the day, I, I sometimes struggled with Torkoal if I didn't have like the right counter for it because like the overheat is very strong with the white herp, you can just like negate his stat drop. So, and like even after uh, his special attack was dropped, uh, he still had body slam. So in general, it was quite a good Pokemon always. Armaldo. I'm sure what Brick Brick do. Decent. Uh, 
But yeah, so far... We haven't encountered a real, like... Any uh, very difficult fights or anything like that. So I guess we we have been quite lucky on that regard. Let's see, like water. All right. Let's save this scientist or professor or what's face. Oh, and we get an encounter, of course. All right, camera up. All right, so that's fire ground, so we can get a fire type uh, for the meteor falls encounter. Oh, we do have to talk to this dude, I guess. A dive ball. Up with the encounters. All right. You stole your meteorite. Yeah, I know. Oh. <clears throat> At least of a loud red. No problem for Bugzilla. Oh, yes, Trout. You know, but like a brook, we probably one shots here. E. Not a problem. Register manager Daniel. Now repel. And a lava cookie. Yeah, cool. Oh, did we never never battle her? Or him? Silo Bob, so I guess it's him. Oh well. It doesn't have to mean anything, I guess. I don't know how, like, um, let's see, what does he give us for people? But does he always give a repeat ball or did I just not, like, was it randomized? Because I thought he gave you a timer ball, so it might be randomized or I'm just, like, forgetting it, uh, remembering it wrong. Both are... Just valid options. Let's help this love couple out. No problem. Thank you for strength. That's the whole reason I did it. Yeah. Yes, Aerodactyl, we know it. I know, I want something. All right. Jesus, I know it's like cave have like uh, increased encounter rates, but still, it feels like every step you get an encounter. Oh, Gengar. I actually can't hit him with uh, Bugzilla. Am I gonna swap to? Nah, fine. Um, does he have Fin attack? Or do you like get in here? Water gun. It paralyzed me. That's one picture. Wait, why didn't I just go for bite by the way? <clears throat> Let's get him, Bugzilla. He thanks the reason to leave in a horn attack. Shoot to the oof. Oof. A victory bow at true end. Talk about bad Pokemon. Willard comes in, but nothing he can really do to me, so. We agree to level 26. Great. Um, I don't think I ever went here, so I. I'm gonna try to uh, avoid as much as I can. Before we are making, we're going to be making our way towards 
Actually, your archery hero do I have that again on the top of the volcano? I believe it's Maxi and Emerald. I always forget, like, in my mind it's always Archie, but like as a kid uh, I had Sapphire, so, you know, that is the game I always played. So, I usually think about, um, oh, he lived, that was, I guess, a little bit more dangerous if he would have had a good psychic move. But yeah, uh, so in my mind, it's always Team Aqua I'm facing. Never really, like, Team Magma wasn't really a, a thing. Well, obviously they do exist in Sapphire, but you don't really battle them. And, um, is it right? I think it's right. Now I'm doubting myself. Alright. Um... I have a Nidoran. Let's take the cable card. Up. To the volcano. A double battle, so... Let's make sure we have some coverage, I guess. The blue and daisy, that uh, should be fine. Agron and Chimeco. Alright. Gonna water gun razor leaf. Should take an Agron and, like, it's Chimeco, so what's he gonna do? Here again. What's better? My shot. He, he might take himself out with yeah, with the recoil. All right, the rich girls. Yes, <laughs> we do fight Team Magma here. So I did remember right about uh, it being Team Magma in the. Oh, why do we keep missing? Maybe she just water gun, yeah. Alright, very nice. Blue level up. Bullfish comes in, which won't be doing much to us, but we can hit him for super effective damage, so, you know, easy. Same goes for Chama, uh, not Chamaco, Chincho. And from a choke. How much can he do? He'll probably go for find that move, so... Should I just go to Eddie? Sure. Because I don't think he actually has a way to hit me. I don't know that... Wait, does Nachi... Nachi is ghost, but it's like set of the base of uh, the HP, so... I can curse. Why not? Oh, foresight. Alright. That's the point where we reset. Seismic does like set 22 damage. Well, that's totally fine with us. All right. And now let's potion up real quick. Um, let's see. Let's take on the main man, Maxi, or how he is called in our randomizer. Let's see, here he comes. Schoolgirl Bob. Yes, Schoolgirl Bob. He says ho with intimidate, so that's, I guess, a little intimidating. <laughs> um, damn. That is what a super effect. Okay, we crit. I mean, I know it's water gun, but still, super effective. And we are high level. I guess Ho's oh, special defenses are pretty decent. Gus doesn't do too much to us, so that's fine. Oh, you see, he didn't crit, by the way. I was risking a crit, I guess. Um, Venonet. Let's. 
Und du bist voll. Will the confusion. Uh, Approve your swipes. Probably. Like, statistically the best. Uh, channel doing the most damage. But we do have to hit like at least three times, I guess, to. Uh, I guess a pro is probably fine as well. I guess a pro was better. Okay. Endure. Nah, we don't need that. I like it comes in. Oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot I obviously stay in. Okay. It's. Uh, almost made a big mistake by uproaring. Actually, that's quite a lot. Like for a little allocate. And the punch is. Oh, that was a crit. Jesus. But no worries. We defeated Schoolgirl Bob. No problem. It's fine. Give me the meteorite. You can use it to. Normally you get return, but. Randomized, so I will see. Uh, first, let's go into the jagged pass, get ourselves an encounter. Smeargle, so normal types. Oh, shadow attack. Wait, right, you still have potions, right? <laughs> okay, it's like you only have sketch, so he can't really do anything to us. I do you think I, I like Smirko? It's such an interesting, uh, interesting Pokemon. Noctal, also a cool Pokemon. I think he's underrated. Like, I, I believe, like, because Noctal is kind of you know the the route one bird. But still isn't, if you know what I mean. Because in Gen 2, he is like the bird you can catch um, from the new Pokemon. But you can like you can still catch Pidgey. So I guess Pidgey still for Johto is seen as the Route 1 bird. So I think that's probably the reason why Noctil is kind of like... Not use that much, I guess. Always have those. Wait, why am I... I'm ground, so I'm fine. And he won't... Okay. Uh, oh, wait. I want to say he won't have levitate, but it's not levitate. He's just flying. So I guess we can't really touch him, though. Uh, go to day. Wait. He's also flying. What am I doing? And I'm just throwing. At least... I guess Peck is the most he can do to us. So let's just see how much a bullet he does. His color change. Interesting. Nice grass type. Does that help us with anything? Not really. Um, let's go back into blue. Heal up first. And like, I guess, yeah. Let's make him ground type. And now he's ground type, we can go for the water gun. Nice. And now he's water type, so we can go for the mud shot. Easy. No problem. Rich girl Liliana. Or that's what it's at, right? Let's see. An upgrade. If we happen to get Porygon, I guess. Or happen to get. Happen to buy a Porygon. And we are at leverage time. Let's see how long have we been going for. Okay, uh, I might be able to clear like some of the trainers I have to do. Um, and then we can save Roxanne for the next episode. So we can start off with that. That might be good. So, oh, Steel and Hound is actually quite a strong team. Uh, let's just start with the Houndoom since 
Because he's the most dangerous to our daisy. But we one shot, so. Not a problem. Alright. Yeah, and this. Like in this. Uh, gym and Emerald, you got some. Uh, required battles, because. Well, from what I remember in Sapphire, I believe you can just waltz through the gym like puzzle without battling anyone. So, I don't know what I like better. But I don't mind required battles, but okay, yeah, I should have known this would go into Oddish. Sure. Uh... Go for a pound then, I guess. Asset. Oh, I didn't know asset had bo heads both. Hm, interesting. Right, Adish down. Go for a lead real quick. Give Addy some screen time. Let's see how good I... Okay. Well... I want to say, let's see how good I remember this gym puzzle, but yeah. Like I said, as a kid, I always played Sapphire, so um, I know how to get through Gen 3 games, but like some Emerald specific stuff, I'm not too. Uh, yeah, I don't know too much about. Also, this is just a Pokemon thing. I do know he's a partial dark type and probably has a bite, so I don't know why I stayed in with Eddie. Although. He might not have it since he doesn't go for it, didn't go for it, but I don't know, sometimes sometimes also the the AI is just stupid, so that could be the reason why he didn't go for it. Let's see, let's lead off with Lord Helix for now. We go here, then I believe it's straight down. Damn it. All right, then this time we won't fuck it up. And there we go. We made it to Roxanne. So with that, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Uh, that would be really appreciated. And uh, I hope to see you all next time. Bye.